I keep asking myself, why now? Why am I being called upon to help others? A young lady called Marlin reached out to the Lear and Blair slog, asking for help to find her father in Mindanao. So myself and Liam A travelled all the way from Cebu City to Cagandioro to see what we could do to help her. Please watch the following emotional story of a girl in a wheelchair and what you can do to help her situation. This is the story of Marlin, a very brave young woman. Unsa man imo purpose nga nung pangitaon man imo imo papa? Gusto lang gyud ko nga may balaan ako kanang ahagit bagit ko gikan sa jud ako ang pagkatao kay kinsa siyo an mm kay lisod man jud nga kanabitaw murag kulang imo hang kaugalingon galing ang pagkatao nga asa kagikan kinsa imo nga mahal sukad sukad nga di anak ko man gina ko shit kita Sa Ug mamit na ko siya. Kay sukad sa akong pag sukad sa gamay pa ko. Wala pa koy tuig. Nga nagkabulag mi. Nagbulag na ko siya nakita. Bisag picture wala. Wala gid ko lain information sa iya pero kung naamin galing nakaila sa iya ha. Nga makahatag og information sa Amo ah. Noong tama kay Balo siya nga gusto ko na ako siya mamit. Gusto na ako siya ma kita. As you can see guys, this is Marlin's house constructed of wood and bamboo and sharp metal here. And you can see the floor, you can see the pathway full of stones and rubble. Absolutely not accessible for a wheelchair to go out of the house. It's just impossible for Marlin to even come out of where she's living. And it really makes me emotional. Look at where she's living. Leah May is going to go to the DSWD on Monday, which is the Department of Social Welfare and Development, and hopefully Leah May will be able to get something done about Marlin's situation living here. At least some monthly help with her needs, doctor's appointments, uh, changing the catheter, those sort of medical requirements that somebody with a um, in a wheelchair, a paraplegic, would need. When was the last time you were at the beach? I can't remember anymore. When is the last time I can't remember anymore? Upon leaving, Marlin and her mother, myself and Leah May, caught a taxi back to Cagayan de Oro City. Amazingly, this taxi driver lived in the same area as Marlin and promised us that he would pick us up the next day and help take Marlin to the beach. So roughly, how much would that cost? Myself and Leah May were skeptical as we had had trouble in the past with taxi drivers in the Philippines. Maybe this guy was going to follow through on his promise. As I looked out the window at the sun setting, I prayed that tomorrow was going to be a good day. The next day we decided to try our luck 
and get to see Mayor Clarex Oi, the mayor of Kagan Dioro City. Giving us some face masks because we can't get in to see the mayor unless we have some face masks. So we hoped that he would help us in the search for Marlin's father. Yeah. Is that okay, sir? Yes. They don't usually see me. <laughs> <laughs> they told me to take my hand off, but I didn't want to be rude. So I'm here this afternoon in Hagen Dioro City with the Mayor, Mayor Clarence. Yes. Thank you, sir, for seeing myself and Mayor May at such short notice. We came from Cebu. I have a YouTube channel, and there's a young lady, her name is Marlin, she's 37, and she's trying to reconnect with her father. She lost her father when she was one year old, and her father is Hello. from. Marawi. How old is she? She is 37. 37? So yes, sir. 36 years ago? Yes, sir. Until now, she has never, she never seen, seen her father. father. Well, I'm approaching you maybe for some advice or for some help from your office. Do you know if somebody could maybe call Marawi City Hall and if we could maybe search for to see if the father is still alive? We have his name. Yeah. And then so just leave the name of the father Yes. and just inform uh, April. April. Yes, maybe it's somebody. The of the media. Okay, if you're thinking of coming to the Philippines, I highly recommend that you visit Cagan de Oro. It's a beautiful town, beautiful city, the city of golden friendship. Thank you. The wonderful mayor Thank of the city had promised us he was going to help. He sent us into the next office to see his assistant, who was also very keen to help our cause in help Marlin find her father. Reach out to you guys and ask for help in finding his father, yes. who is actually from Marawi, yes. right? I was very proud of ourselves at what we had managed to achieve in just two days. Uh, we're hoping that if his daughter makes contact with him, he may want to reunite with his daughter. And once again, everyone was just so very helpful to this cause. <laughs> I'm in CSWD here in Cagayan de Oro. I met Mr. Jetro, he's really helpful. He's giving us an advice where we go to, which organization we go to about Merlin's um, finding a job because Merlin's wanted to find a job and also which organization we gotta go to about like some food facts about her. Yeah, so that's what we're gonna go to next. Emboldened, Leah May took me to Makasandig to speak to the lady there to help Marlin get the medical attention that she requires. At the back of my mind, I was excited that we were going to try and get Marlin out of the house and down to the beach with the taxi driver, although I was worried that he may not turn up. Leah May sat down with the ladies in the office and proceeded to tell them about Marlin. Marlin can go to the nearest a health center in the barangay and there is a uh, check up there and then if there is a doctor prescription that she needs like vitamins or any med medical stuff they need to come here and they just cover it for free minimum of worth 1000 see the name behind me barangay makasandig and leah may has gone inside and spoken about marlin's issues uh, with finding work and ma'am has been very helpful in helping Leah May and they're going to take up Marlin's case to help her find some paid work. After an exhausting day going from office to office, it was time for me and Leah May to call it a day. And I just hoped that tomorrow I'd be able to get Marlin down to the beach. So we're on our way back to Marlin's house. It's the next morning. We're going to surprise her. We booked a taxi and we're going to take her to the beach in Cagan de Oro. Her wish really touched myself and Leah May, so we're going to make it happen for her, give her one day out, a special treat. I know she's going to really appreciate it. She's going to really enjoy it. Keep watching as we take her to the beach today, guys. It's going to be fun. We're here at Marlin's house. Come on, let's go. What an incredible journey that we have been through so far. And I couldn't wait to tell Marlin that we were taking her out for the day. I wondered how she would react. Are you, are you ready to go to the beach today? Yes. You're going to the beach. Now the taxi driver told us that, oh, I know the beach here around in Cagayan. We can take you tomorrow. Just grab my number and we just make it happen. How do you feel about that? That would be great. <laughs> Excited? I would love, I would love to go okay. to the beach. Awesome. We show you the uh, Marlene's wheelchair is really broken 
Higitan na ma'am, kanina nagigitan ako na ma'am. So this like the tie here, it's really broken here like look her her uh, back part is coming out here and there's no more break. Look, it's broken. And this one is like only one lip. It should be two there. It's really like Ah, uh, okay. So there's one foot rest and the other one's completely snapped off. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So every time she go out the house because there's no break, she needs to hold on this one because she's scared that she's gonna roll down there. Yeah. So this one should be replaced. We're going to make it happen here on the Lear and Blair slog, guys. Thank you for your support. We cannot make this without you guys. Thank you. Are you waiting for the taxi, young lady? Yeah, I'm waiting for the taxi. We have a taxi coming because it's hard for Marlene to travel with a jeepney. It's impossible. It is. That's why she never go out. She never go out. She just stay in the house because of the transportation. I was getting concerned. Was the taxi driver Joseph going to turn up as promised? For so long, this young lady had never been outside of her house. So the taxi's just arrived. Four-wheel drive required going over a massive piece of boulder. And here she was, a broad smile on her face, excited to be getting out of the house in the first time in years. Inside, my heart was bursting. For one day, we're taking Marlin out, away from this situation, and we're gonna have some fun down on the beach in Cagandiaro. She deserves it. Years and years stuck in the house. She never goes out anywhere. And through the power of social media, we were doing something right. Even just getting up onto the road was difficult, but we weren't gonna give up. So, in the front or in the back? On my own personal journey, new doors were beginning to open. And it was an awesome feeling being able to help others. Awesome. Just look at what happens to the wheelchair as Joseph picks it up to put it in the back of the taxi. So you can see the wheelchair is falling apart, guys. Yep, a new wheelchair was going to be one of our first priorities. It was time to get this journey underway. Yes, thank you, Lord. To the beach, beach. And off we set down the mountain for the next 45 minutes, heading towards Bon Bon Beach in Cagandioro. I had not seen these types of tricycles in the Philippines. Marlin was already capturing the moments for a day that she was never going to forget. Marlin was seeing the sea for the first time in so many years. No words were needed. Marlin said to Leah May she was starting to tear up. And I think we all shed a tear that day. Why are you crying? <laughs> I don't know. I just feel the, the waves maybe. Yeah. The sound? Yeah. <laughs> you haven't heard the sound for so long? You haven't seen it so yeah. long? Yeah, so long. <laughs> so 
So guys, we made it. Queer Joseph in the uh, taxi, the taxi driver took us down. We're here in Bonbon bon Beach in Cagan de Oro with Marlin. Her wheelchair made it. Even though it's broken, we managed to get down onto the beach. Her dream has come true. We made it on the Lear and Blair slog. Woohoo! And so it was time to see what we can do to help Marlin. Myself and Leah May had to return to Cebu. But we're going to be coming back in two weeks. And that's when we're going to surprise Marlin with your help. <laughs>